Keep listening and share. Greetings, Dungeon Crawlers and Dragon Folk. It's time for our initiative for YEG DMD. I'd like to remind you not to cast any spells of sending or take any scrying calls for the duration of this performance. Though photography and videos of the campaign are highly encouraged to share on social media. Now, please welcome to the stage your host and dungeon master. jump over a big old chasm, or for fight checks, for instance, where the uh, PCs may indeed be fighting against monsters, people, all sorts of manner of stuff. Now, with that out of the way, there is other one other person that I want to bring your attention to, sitting over here on the keys. This is Katrina, who will be our accompanist. <laughs> to my downtown apartment. And we're gonna go to the kitchen. You can vision it in your head. It's in North Facing. It's a little dark. <laughs> 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 All right, hey, uh, we're just gonna be joined by my PCs. Karina? Yeah? Karina, we can't find the door. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'll let you have a light burn out in the hall. Let me know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, light, uh, hey. uh. Gallagher Fairfax, a human fighter, uh, comes from a noble lineage. Originally, he started adventuring with his sister Gloria to help protect her and ensure that they both return to uh, ensure the family's legacy and honor. Uh, but then she decided to go off on her own and then find her own way, which is totally good and great and fantastic for everybody to go find their own way. Now Gallagher has to find his own way. <laughs> <laughs> What's she going to do now? I don't know. Oh, Emptiness oh. syndrome, right? Mm -hmm. You got me, buddy. And you are? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, today I'll be playing as Bartolus Wexany. He is a classic goblin rogue. Uh, you know, you know the bit. Indebted to a lich king, dead guy, spooky. Uh, but truly, like, the thing about Bartolus is his real dream is uh, to get out of his indentured servitude and go to fashion school. Aww. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> because we find ourselves in a swamp. 
and it is a belching, nasty swamp full of all sorts of <laughs> things hanging from above. Uh, this is the swamp of Amurath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a huge boggy kind of area where the round waves along, uh, and we find our heroes, Bartolus and Gallagher, as they're making their way through this stinky swamp along a narrow passage that kind of cuts along through it. They have just finished uh, clearing out a tavern from some, uh, let's see what I write down here, oh, poltergeist. Uh, and they are celebrating as they make their way to their next stop. I tell you what, I'm going to celebrate by buying some new shoes because this swamp really messed my uh, shiny little loafers up. Thank you. Uh, come this way. <laughs> oh. That's a, it's a pretty big hole. Marcellus, what did you say this swamp was called again? Swamp of Amaran. It's the Swamp of Amaran. You know it? It's a, it's kind of a little spot on the map. It's a lot bigger in person, I'll tell you what. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be quite this uh, stinky and massive. It smells like a smells like a bag of old diapers. It smells like when you leave raw chicken on the counter and then you kind of forget about it and your cats get out of the bin and then you throw it away and then it sits in the garbage for two days and you forget to take the garbage out. It's like that smell. You smell that? Why are you smelling those things? <laughs> it's not so much a choice. Sometimes life just thrusts these things upon you. Life <laughs> 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 thrusting things upon our player characters. Suddenly, a high-pitched scream pierces through the air. <laughs> oh, that don't sound good. <laughs> Followed by the sounds of wings beating. <laughs> Oh. 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 Look out! They're right there! Get behind them! Get behind them! Behind me! Oh, hello! Hello, everybody! Oh. And coming out from the boggy marsh are two enormous giant moths. <laughs> and as they roll the antenna and like little sucker parts in the front, and their wings are all feathery looking, but there's not actually feathers. Anyway, the point is, they're evil, nasty moths! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that saved me! Bartolus, do you have your flint on you? Uh, flint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I got that. I got some buttons. I got some. Uh, Can you light up this some nice lace. Uh, I think this is taking a little too long. We're actually going to call for our very first fight check. Uh, if you had set them on fire a little bit faster. It's so hard. It's really humid in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so this will be for our uh, evil moths, and this will be for our heroes. Do I want anyone want to roll? Anyone want to roll? Oh, here you go. <laughs> Just roll it right up here on the stage. Okay. Four hundred times a charm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. For our evil nasty moths, a ten. Uh, this is, of course, beaten by a 15 yes. from our hero. Yes. 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 Fiona, and my, 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 my father's the, the king of the realm, and, and I'm supposed to be married today, but 
I, I, I got stage fright for marriage. If only there was a term for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 so I decided to go on a little walk, you know? A walk I used to do as a, as a young girl, just frolicking. You <laughs> <laughs> your way into this swamp. Into the swamp, okay, yeah. <laughs> Did you also do that as a young girl? <laughs> Often frolic in the swamp? Yeah. Did you leave any like ribbons or crumbs to find your way back that we could follow out? Maybe all three of us could follow that. We well, have much luck. Well, I would have, but those moths, they grabbed my dress, and as, as I was holding my sash to make sure I know where I'm going, they ate it. Swamps <laughs> <laughs> eat fabric. <laughs> <laughs> now look at me. Look at this dress. They tore it apart. You know what? There's still a lot that can be done for you here. A few stitches, a couple nice appliques. Why don't we take you back towards the castle? Did you say that the wedding was today? It was today, yes. At what time? If you stand real still, we can do a sundial. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, the, the, the sun seems to be very faintly, I can see it through the swamp gases, at its zenith. We, we must be at noon of the day. Yes, and of course, Fiona here will be married at sundown, because, you know, romance in the evening. Yes, we, we, we have a ritual of my family at the ruins in the middle of the swamp, that's why. Every in, in the middle of the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Some people call our culture a little backwatered, okay? <laughs> is, the, is the entire kingdom in which you live just in the swamp? Is, is that? Yeah, I live in the swamp. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But goodness, we have to get you back. You've, you've set yourself up uh, for, for a commitment here. Here's the thing, I can't just go back without my sash. Oh. It's made from the leather of a hydralisk. Yeah. That's, that's hard fabric to come by. We do got to get that sash back. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't just leave a sash like that lying in the swamp. That's pretty much sacrilege. I understand. Uh, so, but but uh, the, the leather of a... Did you say a hydra flask? Does that live in the swamp? <laughs> a, a hydra! So a many-headed like lizard guy. But when you skin it, when you skin it, it, uh, it, it becomes hydrolisk. That's the name of the fabric, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the tanning process, the tanning process. That's not trademark. Um, once it, they it? have sorted out all the logistics <laughs> of exactly how you skin a hydra, our dear Fiona Amaran, the swamp is named after her family, uh, go off and tell tells them exactly where they need to go to find this nest of hydra that was previously used to harvest the skin for the sash. We continue watching our heroes as they continue along this little path. Um, the path dives down into swamp and disappears. Ooh, just sinks right into the muck there. Hey, uh, you got like a, any kind of snorkeling gear you can head down in there? I don't really, I mean, you can afford the dry cleaning, I really can't. Tullus, we have pledged ourselves to find this beast, and skin this beast, and tan and prepare the hide, <laughs> and then measure it out, design and cut forth and sew it in a fashion, a sash worthy of true love. Ooh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> worthy of a marriage ceremony. We don't have time to worry about dry cleaning. <laughs> All right, uh, okay. Uh, next time you pick me up, please remember that I am three foot five, and when you drop me, you just drop me back into the ground. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you seem much taller than that. I <laughs> have that effect, yes. It's my confidence. The personality. <laughs> <laughs> Here now, it's kind of a goopy yeah, mess, so I can wait and see. Mess. Would, you, would you prefer? I will give you either an athletics or a survival check. Do you have a preference, Mark? Ooh, I don't feel like I'm very good at either. Let's roll an athletics check and see what happens. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so, okay. so, so um, this the swamp is deep, but I mean it's not insurmountable. So a ten will be a success. Do I have anyone who wants to roll? Yes. Quickly, please. please. And then you next. <laughs> Oh, 
to the swamp worked much better. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. Carrying a small green fellow through a swamp on my back, it, it, it inspires me. I feel like I've learned something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just the image that touches your heart. Yeah. It sends you back, right? Yes. Oh! oh. Gone, trademark symbol. <laughs> <laughs> it's glowing, look. Look, and it is indeed glowing. A odd purple hue that contrasts lovely with the mucky nasty in the swamp. It smells pretty too, like a like a vase of fresh cut flowers or a or like a baked strudel, but you put something fancy in it like cranberries as well as the apples. <laughs> Have you never tried Oh you're in for such a treat. <laughs> you gotta mix them together. It cuts the sweetness and the sourness. Hey! <laughs> Can't you read the sign? There's a hydra! Oh, that's the sign. That's the sign! Oh, there is a, a, a small dwarf here. Uh, he's got like a long, scraggly beard uh, and a big bulbous nose. And he happens to be in a cage. Uh, a cage that says, Hydra Sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out! Oh. Hey, hey there, sir, Mr. Uh, sacrifice, is it? Well, <laughs> you're not wrong, but my friends call me Gus. Oh, <laughs> Gus. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, we're actually looking for the Hydra, so uh, thanks for helping us decipher those little runes there. Uh, just on this way then, or is he coming to you? Uh, well, he's gonna come for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can wait a while. I've been waiting for a couple of days now. Goodness. Not on my own fruition, but I am excited. You're, you're excited to be sacrificed to the Hydra, is it fun? No, it's terrible. <laughs> it's got like big teeth and fangs, and if that doesn't kill you with the first bite, the poison will as it corrodes through your skin. Goodness, did you, well, we're actually trying to find this Hydra. Did you, did you want us to, to swap with you or something? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a thing. <laughs> Nuts. Uh, uh, I was going to say maybe a persuasion check to convince Gus the sacrifice that you should switch spots. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you're here looking for glory. You're looking for a nice time. You're looking to kind of put your name in the history books. I'm experimenting with my... All right. I think you said you are to roll next. Uh, so this persuasion check, I mean, he is a, a, a sacrifice. So a 10 will, in fact, do it. Let's give it a good roll. <laughs> there we go. That's a 6, which means they can't convince Gus that he ought to maybe not die. You're telling me to get out of this cage? Yeah, just <laughs> 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 you perhaps don't want to die. 
does, does not look like a guy who doesn't commit to his actions. Do I look like somebody who's just going to cower away? No, 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 no. I have booming, ethereal, scary voice emanates from the tree. I've been trying to convince him to leave four days. <laughs> well, with those pipes, if you can't do it, I don't think we have much of a shot. Though. That's Trent. I call him Trent the Tree. That's me. I'm glad you liked my smell. It's my new perfume. <laughs> I do appreciate the finer things. Thank you, uh, Trent, for sharing that delicious Help odor. yourself to some sap. You can use it for your own old Trent. <laughs> but I heard you seek the Hydra, and indeed, it will be around here to eat this guy shortly. <laughs> but if you say needed to expedite the process, Behind me, just yonder, you will find the nest. Yeah, there's a nest right back there in that cave there. I've been waiting. I don't want to go in. It feels rude to knock. <laughs> I'm, also, I'm also in a cave. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're fine with staying here? Oh, yeah. Even if we were to say, it, you're waiting for a hydra that we may or may not be stopping from arriving. So you would be stuck in this cage, and you still don't want us to let you out before we go kill the hydra? No, I feel more safe in here than being out there. I chalk it up to swamp madness. <laughs> but be warned, should you journey into that cave, beware the little ones. The wee baby hydras, they like to suckle. <laughs> there are many little heads <laughs> to mother's milk, but poison. The poison, if you recall. Um, the hydra's poison, yes, and um, they take the like, milk. <laughs> well, after you, Gallagher, you can oh, walk in first. Lovely. Uh, they just, uh, whatever you do, don't look at it in the eye. I'm not an idiot, thanks. The hydra. Everyone knows that. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm stuck here with this guy for a while. <laughs> yes, everybody knows about that classic eye part of the Hydra. I did my research. I know about it, too. It does a thing we will find out about. All right, so they enter into this large cave that was obstructed by the tree. I mean, like, it was a big tree. Um, and uh, the, the cave itself is warm. There's a bunch of uh, swamp grasses that have been patted down. Um, there are eggs that have been cracked open and laying sort of scattered about. Uh, and we, we find our heroes as they continue onward. Sorry, you're, you're very small. I thought it was one of the babies. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to suckle you. <laughs> Good, I certainly wouldn't bother. Look at the eggshell. Shiny on the inside. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put them in my sash with a little bit on the sash. Yeah, you crush that up so it's like a little sequin. It's beautiful. It's stunning. <laughs> <laughs> In here. <laughs> hey, good thing you weren't worried about drag me in. At this point, I'm going to ask you if you maybe want a perception check. Couldn't hurt. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a so, do have anyone who wants to roll a perception check? Yes, this will be a 10 to pass. <laughs> All right, it's a 5. So, uh, it's a chance <laughs> that that dripping from Drip. above uh -huh. is in fact one of the many heads of the Hydra uh -huh. drooling. But you don't notice it. You just, you just continue on with the whole egg picking up thing. 
such a, a purple cave. Yeah. The good drippings are all purple. And a little, do you find them itchy? Are you itching a little bit where they hit? Like, is this a, a rash? Am I, am I breaking out in a rash? Hey, he looks like a rash. Oh, see, it must be the swamp here. Yeah. yeah, humid. Humidity breaks havoc on the here. skin. Why would they hold a wedding here? You know, I, I don't know. Surely we could find another venue. Especially uh, for royalty, right? Can't see season. weird. But I did say swamp lord. But they don't have any more time to discuss whether or not a wedding in a swamp is optimal because the hydro <laughs> oh is ready for dinner. Oh, <laughs> You know, this is really starting to burn my eyes. We look looking right to you. <laughs> and the hydro <laughs> swoops down with one of its gigantic heads. <laughs> <laughs> You're not one of your. I certainly hope this isn't big. This is very. I large. don't think it is. <laughs> Trent said a little, but this seems like a big. He, he was a very big tree, big, to be fair. A big, large. This um, head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. I'm glad you decided to fight because it was going to be a mess if you tried to persuade it to give you its skin. <laughs> Thing I could do is just uh, 
Act natural. Blend in. Do a little baby hydra stuff. for weeks after I leave the swamp. What does that mean? I live in a swamp! I've been here for a couple days. I thought you were on vacation. I am on vacation! You live in a different swamp than you vacation in this swamp? Okay, it wasn't vacation. It turned to a staycation. I'm here for a while. <laughs> Our travel guide got eaten, okay? He was a goblin. Go. A delicious oh, yeah. goblin. Hydras, they like eating goblins. He was a goblin. He was a goblin. And Bartolis is a goblin. Oh, yeah, you're a fighter. He's next to be gone. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Perhaps. Maybe it's a coincidence. You think it's a coincidence? I don't know what you're 
even talking about. <laughs> <laughs> A goblin? Yes, I do know him. And he's not the travel agent or somebody who get us out of here. Uh, he wants to be a tailor or something? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a great career. Very handy on the road. You, you're talking about the jacket. Thing. Sometimes he tears in it. Yeah. So him right Despite back this conversation, you, know. uh, you can hear the kind of like chirping of baby hydras as they get more excited for their dinner. Oh, do you hear that? Sounds like they're about to eat something. Oh. You can tell by the... BOTTELIS! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I don't get a watch! <laughs> so, Weeby, come back over to Bartolis, who is now just absolutely trying everything in his power to keep these little Hydra babies off of him. Ah! No! Uh, 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 what if I tell you a bedtime story? Um, or I could uh, do a magic show? Or a sing a song? I would also accept a song to, to do a lullaby. I, would, I, guess. I don't know. It's gonna be... <laughs> I know that if uh, Wix and the family lullaby, you're gonna love it. Above their height, it would be fine. Oh, you have to carry me in the whole cave like this. Oh. Oh. Maybe they don't want to eat me, but they do still like to nibble. Oh, oh. You're looking kind of woozy. That's some fact that's some point fast track to poison. Why don't you set me down before you no. finish, buddy? I'll power through it oh, by no. some manner of my constitution. Oh. <laughs> Uh, as well as a now empty cage. Oh. 
Help me sweat out that poison. Oh, good. Well, while you were doing that, I sew this sash as it had been a decorative uh, lace on there. And, uh, oh, you can also... offer me eggshells. Yeah, you... A lovely pearlescent sheen. I told you it'd be shiny. I also had the time to stop and pick up these moss and uh, swamp flowers, so I made her a little wedding crown, too. Good, miss. You are good at this. You are good at this. Tree, have you seen this? Looks <laughs> good. Yeah. Thank you. Fine crafts. <laughs> Ship. Craft Goblin. Goblin. Oh, thanks. Have you seen this? Yes. Yes. Shame. Did, did the Hydra come from? Goodness, no. Because <laughs> he, he wasn't a goblin, so Hydra wouldn't have gobbled up him. But don't you find it odd that there were no goblins anywhere in that cave? I saw a couple other cages there, full of dwarves, full of humans, a couple orcs, a couple elves, but... Apparently there was a travel agent who was a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> that was my cousin. In, in a time... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> in fact, uh, the reason we don't see Gus here is because uh, Gus was taken away by a beautiful young woman with long, dark hair and a very tastefully modest gown. Goodness, does the tree inform us of this? Yes. Yes, I But at a faster rate, that what it said slowly. Goodness, tree, took so long to tell us that. The woman from the swamp, we've been standing here for 12 minutes, sir. I can only go at my own pace. <laughs> you, think, you think this was all a sham? Do you think she saw us as two brave, heroic adventurers and knew that we would be able to stop whatever devilry she was up to and sent us on this wild goose chase? I think that it's pretty likely. I also know I am not giving her this, but I do like you. Aww. Aww. It's mighty Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, help yourself. Tobias, we've been horrendously wronged. And Gus may be in danger. Now, you do remember that she said she was due to be wed when the sun went down in the ruins at the center of the swamp. Right. Ruins at the center of the swamp. All I we can give you direction. Do you happen to have a map? Yes. <laughs> Pe peel off my low, my non copyrighted image. It's on the back. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's good. And then we make our way to the center from the empty tree. It's just off that. All right, so. Before you head out, uh, this doesn't look like a particular chick, like maybe a, like a maybe survival. Uh, if you get there with a 15 or higher, you are absolutely able to get there before anything bad happens at all. If you get there between a 10 and a 15, maybe something small bad has happened. Anything less than that, you are walking into an absolute disaster. All right, who would like to roll for this uh, survival check? Yes, yes, yes. Wait, is this my right goal? No, wait, is it? Um, uh, Haven't you had like book learning at the castle and stuff? Oh! <laughs> like to take some credit for that. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Oh, look, it's just, it's actually Good. right through those trees there. I think Good. I can see yeah. the lights. Say, say something about moss leading to civilization. There's moss on the back of this map. If we simply hold it up and follow the moss, we'll get there in no time. Uh, and indeed, as they move through the swamp, <laughs> this as can't possibly go by Bartolomew, and also slightly by the moss, Uh, the ground is actually fairly solid here. It's been packed 
passed down by generations of uh, <laughs> there are these big sort of stone pillars that have clearly been put there by some intelligent creature. Uh, and in the center, uh, bound and gagged, is our friend Gus. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> he kind of knew what he was getting into on the whole, like, sacrifice for a hydra on tourism front. <laughs> so, you know, lessons learned. Uh, however, our green hag friend here was not satiated. I mean, he was just a dwarf. There were only, like, half the height of Galaga. He was the appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an entree. Are you sure you don't want to take some time in between courses? Normally you'd have conversation, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anything dictates you should take as much time. It's all about a social occasion more than the food. I'm actually going to, to determine how this plays out, uh, get Gallagher to roll a wisdom check. Oh. All right. Uh-huh. Is that? Yes, yes. So this uh, is going to be a 10, uh, and if he succeeds, well, it will, things will good, good. They will overcome the green, green hag. He will not fall under her spell. If no not... <laughs> and Gallagher rolls a 19. <laughs> Be, be granted some sort of last request. I will, I if we're truly at a, 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 a dinner event, the gala, surely there must be a dance. You might look more fetching in those than I. Oh, yeah. Bartolis, you're gonna have to stamp the hag. Oh, you look so <laughs> dazzling in the soft light. You're gonna have to stamp the hag. You wanna... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Portolis is just standing in the dust right now. <laughs> Here we are, dancing in the swamp light. Here we go, the moment is just right. <laughs> a great green hag. Oh. <laughs> and unfortunately, she took Gus's life. Yes! <laughs> For what it's worth, he went very happy. He thought, <laughs> he thought it was so hot. So hot. So terribly hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, that's how he would have wanted to go. <laughs> I'm sorry that you've gone through this on your 
vacation staycation if you live in this swamp. I don't know. It's, it's okay. <laughs> we're, we're triplets. <laughs> How, that makes it better. Are there now two to warn him? Yeah. What I miss? Why don't you fill me in over here? Okay, uh, uh, I got some news about Gus, but oh. you're gonna love it and hate it. Oh my God. <laughs> Bartolo Sweden. Mm -hmm. Dun Hopefully Dunce will go here. <laughs> uh, well, we did something, I'll tell you that. It's no longer going to be a hag who, you know, no, eats people alive. And you know what? Sends we people on pointless quests. That's true with that. We all got to die sometime. Catch fishes in a swamp. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was, that was appropriate for Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to leave the, the shroud over the, the, the dead door? He, look, it was his time to go, and he wanted to go. I, I just don't want to leave this nice fabric. <laughs> Bartolis, fortunately, I think it is right for us to stay here. We set out today with a goal, and we hope to keep people safe, to truly be heroes, and set forth for, to, to put out the legacy of our names, and. <laughs> we are those who step forth and we can't help all those that we come across. And we need to take this as a lesson to learn. Do you still have your flint? You want to burn the family? Yes, it's a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I did learn a lesson today. <laughs> Sorry, Bartolis. Yeah. 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 I learned that sometimes, even if you go adventuring, Sorry. it's so humid in here. It's very humid. Sometimes the treasure isn't the hydra skin or the gold. Sometimes you walk away with nothing in your hands but the. You have the flame of friendship that you lit along the way. Aww. Aww. And so, amidst the glow of the setting sun and the burning gusts, our <laughs> heroes say goodbye to the friends that they met. Friendships for new. Goodbye, Hydra Fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the end of our story tonight on YEG DND.